How are we feeling? I'm so excited. It's we were, not my first, but it's gonna be the best. It's gonna be the best. <laughs> <laughs> we both were on the same flight from Tampa to New York, and we're gonna be together tonight. So let's start so the vlog. <laughs> Got one bag. <laughs> Got bag number one here. Now we wait for our second bags. <laughs> Danielle, have our bags met? <laughs> Wait. Caitlin's bag, meet Danielle's bag. <laughs> I don't think they've met. At least these two our haven't car, met. Our high, in high school, our cars. Our cars used to meet. It was really cute. <laughs> oh, I see mine too. We've both been in Tampa for like two weeks, so that's why we have all these bags. And we're ready to party tonight. <laughs> that was so cheesy, I hate myself. Um, perfect car for New Year's Eve. <laughs> this was a nice surprise. Do you have ox? An ox cord? Or Bluetooth? Uh, Ooh, should we play Drake? Play Needle. Play Needle by Drake, oh my gosh, yes. Love this song. slay tonight she goes tonight's one of those nights where I'm actually gonna like section off my hair <laughs> when I do it and I have never related more it's like what it's like sometimes you're just lazy oh, yeah. but tonight's a night where you're gonna like you know Pin claw work. clip section <laughs> off oh dropping Caitlin off I'll see you tonight okay. I'm home oh my gosh it's freezing in here we made it I have missed this place. It's not New Year's yet, so we're keeping the Christmas lights going for a second. The first thing I do is plug in my Alexa. <laughs> Need music immediately. And I think I'm gonna keep riding with my Christmas candle for just a little longer. Upon arrival, I ordered my favorite smoothie. When I tell you guys I've been craving this specific smoothie for two weeks. They didn't give me a straw, but it's okay, I have. This is the OPP. This is the smoothie I was trying to recreate at home, which honestly, I got it pretty close, but nothing tastes like the real one. Mmm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just love past Danielle because she cleaned the kitchen and her whole apartment so that when I came back, it actually looked good. In oh, please ignore that. <laughs> Please ignore that. I just ran in there and put on dry shampoo in my hair so it could be good for tonight. The getting ready process needs to begin. This is gonna be my last shower of this year. Haha. <laughs> ha. Obviously Drake. In my cozies. And no, I still don't know what I'm wearing. I feel like tonight's a face mask night. Double take for nights out, special occasions, rendezvous. I think that's appropriate. I know what you guys might be thinking. Danielle's had this outfit planned for months, maybe years. Nope. I still don't know what I'm wearing. And we're gonna find out together this evening. I have two ideas. So one is this dress that I actually tried on in one of my last vlogs when I was home in Florida. It's this beautiful cutout one sleeve with these roses. It's like a hot dress, but it's like long black. It's a little formal, but that's what New Year's is for. Or I have this sick skirt and it actually has a matching top that I just don't know when else I would wear it other than New Year's Eve. And it's so cute. Like I really love it. It's a mini skirt. So I could wear it with this, but it's just, I don't know. I would want to maybe tone it down with a blazer or something. It's just like a lot of skin. Cause it's just like this. Or I pulled, I sound like a stylist, I pulled four different tops here that could alternatively go with this. I love the idea of like just a little simple black bralette, but then I would wanna wear some sort of jacket or blazer or something, but like I always wear blazers and it's New Year's Eve, so it's to come, but that's what we're working with. Okay, this, honestly, I really like how this is on its own, but it feels, I don't know. I could like dress, like, I wish I had more like silver jewelry that would look really good here and then like a ton of silver bracelets and rings and earrings. Cause this actually is really cute on its own. And since I have a short torso, I mean, you know, it's New Year's Eve. My gosh, ignore the face mask. I can't decide. This is really cute. I wish so badly that I had like a black fluffy jacket. I don't think I like the leather jacket with it. It makes it too, it dresses it down too much. Me, I don't wanna wear a blazer. 
But look how cute this is! This is a blazer I just recently got from NAKD, Naked Fashion, and it like cinches on the side and I love it. I love how it looks with the skirt, but you know what? We're showing more skin tonight. I, I just always default to blazers and this can have another moment. Here's another option with this black bodysuit, but I'm not so sure. The more I look at it though, I love the plunging neckline. It's really cute. I always love a corset moment. This one's from Meow and it just hits every time. I also have it in brown. So this could work with like my silver heels. This could work, okay? This could work. Okay, yeah, honestly, this just, it's not enough fabric for me <laughs> and I feel like it's gonna jump up and down. So yeah, so for that reason, I'm out, unfortunately. It is it is cute, but I, I wanna be comfortable. I wanna dance. Okay, actually, when I add the blazer, I don't even like it. I think a blazer is cute if you wore like a white tee with this and made it a little more casual, but no, I don't think I like the blazer. Okay, I tried this on and I tried it on before, I don't know. It does this weird like gaping thing in the back here and I just know one wrong move and it's over. So I think, I think you guys, I'm gonna go with this moment and like wear a jacket of sorts, but just rock this for the night. It obviously would not be a night without drinking an electrolyte before, so I'm gonna drink an element. This stuff saves me. It's so crazy, like when I was younger, staying up till midnight was the craziest thing. Like, oh my gosh, we're staying up till midnight tonight. Gonna drink some sparkling apple cider at midnight, all the things. And now I'm like, wow. This is kind of normal to be up till midnight. My parents were like, I don't know if I'm gonna stay out for the ball drop. I was like, you have to. A couple cubes in there. I feel like this is just gonna hit. Ah. And now we depuff. And then my mic stopped recording. So I didn't want this vlog to go to waste and a lot of you guys DM me and said, please still make this vlog something because we wanna see it. So right here I'm talking about how all over TikTok, I'm seeing things about this wavy talk, heated thermal brush, whatever. Guys, I've had this round thermal brush since May. I got it when I was going to Greece because it was compatible and it wasn't like, I don't know, it just worked internationally. Whereas the Dyson, you can't use it internationally. So I was just talking about how I was using that there and putting in rollers. I was using my friend Bridget, Acquired Styles, amazing rollers. And I was just basically doing that in the front pieces, the rollers, because I still haven't perfected doing rollers all over my whole head. So maybe I can work on that more. I just feel like it's hard to get the back part. So yeah, this is me just getting ready for New Year's doing my hair. Hair was setting with the rollers. And then I had this crazy idea to actually change my outfit. I was like, wait, this is such a vibe. I saw it on Instagram. This girl posted this idea of wearing like a big blazer with tights and these heels. And I was obsessed with it. But I was like, let me, I, I'm someone, I'm gonna ask other people's opinions. I'm gonna pull them. Um, so actually I've been starting to ask my mom and that's what I was showing here. And she immediately said skirt. So I was like, all right, slay. And I asked a few of my other friends and they all said the skirt just because it's more New Year's vibes, I feel. Um, and then I literally went to my bathroom and used every single depuffing tool that I have. I started with this one that kind of vibrates and then this one that I think is like an infrared light. I don't know if it, any of this works, but I was just pulling out all the stops. And then we headed over to my closet room and I was just basically saying here, this is so depressing that this audio messed up. I basically got a new camera and I think that's what I'm talking about in this clip. Um, and I want you guys to let me know what you think of this camera. I figured out what the problem was. There was this button I was accidentally pressing sometimes, which basically made it not record. Neither here nor there. We are here doing the vlog and I'm happy a lot of the audio was still okay. Um, but yeah, I was just talking about how I wanted to like prep my skin and I was talking about the plans for tonight. Oh yeah, so basically the plans for tonight, AKA New Year's Eve, I was going to dinner with a few of my friends, Caitlin, Ryan, and Luke. We were going to Saki no Hana. It's one of my new favorite places. Even though I don't even eat that much sushi, I just love the vibes there. It's owned by Tao Group, so it's a great place to like pregame and stuff and really good food. I mean, it's not a cheap place, but it was a really fun New Year's vibe, I thought. So we were going there. And then from there, we were gonna go to my friend Katie Bilotti's party. She was having an apartment party, which is always so much fun. It was like my ideal situation. I was trying to decide if I wanted to stay in Florida or New York for New Year's. And when Katie said she was having a party, I was like, this is perfect. A ton of her friends were going that we all knew. 
so I was excited and then I decided to do a side part as you guys can see here because you guys have been hyping me up about side parts so I rolled with it and I think I'm happy and then here I'm just doing my eye, my eyeliner my lip liner my go-to lip combo for like a long time now has been wherever walnut from make it forever and then the flesh fantasy lip gloss from Pat McGrath and that's kind of the go-to lip combo. I was also talking about here how I've seen a lot of TikToks about how 2024 is giving the energy of 2016, and I am not mad about that. I loved 2016, it was a very happy time in my life, and I'm here to listen to some Fetty Wap again. So I also um, got that little Vuv champagne jacket because I wanted to bring a little gift to Katie as a host. So we had these jackets lying around, not a ton of them. We had two of them at home. So I was like, mom, can I take one please? And she was like, yeah, totally. So I did that, just doing the rest of my lip gloss. And then I actually went and found my favorite or like, I didn't realize Spotify in 2016 had a playlist of my top songs. So I decided to listen to that because why not? It also, <laughs> my second number one song, my second song was whipped into shape because I was Brooke Wyndham and Legally Blonde. That's pretty much it. Those are the songs that I was listening to in 2016. Then I had to get my drinks all together. I decided to have mom water that night. This is their like seasonal flavor called Carol. I literally love mom water so much. It's um, a non-carbonated vodka seltzer situation and I just find it doesn't upset my stomach. I feel, you know, I get headaches still the next day, but you know the vibe. So I was just packing those up and bringing some for people as well if they wanna try it. Um, obviously went with the skirt outfit um, upon my mother's review and kind of put the outfit all together and I was saying how I just feel cute and I felt happy in my outfit and I feel like that's the best kind of day and I just went with silver jewelry of course I can't believe I've just been wearing so much silver jewelry lately which is so crazy um, just a little leather bralette both the skirt and top are from Revolve all of my jewelry was from Love AJ except for my earrings my earrings were from anthropology little drop earring moment and then my kurt geiger heels gotta pack the purse i went with that bottega purse because i wanted to bring my canon g7x because it slays the photo sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do and then from here i recorded on my phone so the audio worked yay <laughs> Okay, so this becomes a hot towel. Are you guys gonna try it? No, it's supposed to like rinse your hands off before. Oh my gosh! Oh. It's a bit like, yeah. yeah. Me too, I thought it was like a sugar cube and soy sauce. Yeah, rice or like yeah. way to start the meal. And then, cause you're supposed to like rinse off your hands. Is that what you're supposed to do? Saki time. I thought, I thought that was bad. Ooh. <laughs> Beautiful. Like, how do you sip it? Like, you don't shot it, right? You just sip it. Cheers. Look who's here. Happy New Year. <laughs> I started it off with my headache relief cap because thankfully my stomach was all good, but my head was 
pounding you guys, but that just means it was a good night. I also decided to start drinking black coffee in the new year. So I had a hang hungover black coffee, so much football on a New Year's Day. It was so fun to watch. And then this is hours later. I was just kind of recapping how New Year's Eve was so fun. It literally went off without a hitch. Like I have nothing bad to say. Katie is the best host. I had the best time with my friends. So many good laughs. And I just had spent the day um, hanging out uh, with some of my friends. Actually, the same people I went to dinner with. Ryan, Luke, and Caitlin came over and we watched a ton of the football bowl games. And um, just kind of started to get my life together, plan the week ahead. And I was just saying how grateful I am to be surrounded by such great people. So I love you guys. Thank you for watching. And thanks for bearing with me with these audio issues. But glad we got to get the video up. Bye. Mm -hmm.